What if I told you that you can get a great watch for around 75 US dollars, but for this price you get a titanium case, titanium bracelet, quartz accuracy with a battery powered movement that simulates the sweeping motion of a second's hand from a mechanical movement, sapphire crystal, fully loomed dial and hands, fill style explorer dial, no date display, just like any other proper fill style watch, I'm not joking. I'm just talking about the Bernie watch. Bernie is a watch company based in China that produces different style watches from compressor divers to dress style watches. Some of their watches, just like this one, are inspired by some classic designs, making some of them fall in the homage category. As I said before, it is made out of titanium, a material used in high-performance aircrafts. On the wrist, this aspect makes the watch feel incredibly light to the point that also being a comfortable case and bracelet package, you can forget that you're actually wearing the watch, with only 75 grams in weight featuring all bracelet links. I was surprised by the fact that for this price you can get a titanium case and bracelet. Quite an unusual price for this whole package unlike other big watch brands that charge you hundreds of dollars for a case like this. But wait, there's more! A titanium case is sometimes hard to scratch and this translates in a long-term sandblasted pristine case condition. With this feature, the watch comes with a sapphire crystal that we all know that every watch enthusiast desire for their daily beta watch. Having the advantage of owning a titanium watch with a sapphire crystal gives you the opportunity to treat a fill style watch just like a fill style watch should be treated. I mean to wear it like you don't care about scratches or breaking and still looking great after some heavy activities. The case measures 37mm diameter, 9mm thickness and 20mm lug width. With such lug measurement, if you don't feel comfortable wearing the bracelet, you can easily swap it with a nader strap or maybe for more casual occasions with a leather strap. The bracelet is a solid links titanium bracelet with solid end links and just simple push pins for adjustment and a double secure press clasp, featuring three micro adjustments in case your wrist size expands in hot weather. Turning the watch over, it features just a simple pressed case back with only 50 meters water resistance, quite a usual fill style water resistance. Here, for my personal preference, I would have preferred 100 meters water resistance and a screw down case back. But I'm pleased with 50 meters too, as in fact this watch is not meant to be a watch to be used mostly near water. As you can probably say, the sweeping seconds hand can trick you into thinking that this watch has a mechanical or automatic movement inside. But Bernie chose a different path here using the Japanese movement VH31 that is still a quartz movement, which means an accurate movement that has more than just one tick per second, making the seconds hand sweeping just like a mechanical movement. I usually prefer mechanical watches for the sweeping seconds hand, but I usually fight with their accuracy and in certain jobs it gets frustrating when your mechanical watch goes faster or slower keeping inaccurate time, if you depend on those seconds. So this movement is a great way of displaying a mechanical watch aesthetic with a quartz accuracy. Using a movement like this, Bernie chose to place the crown at 4 o'clock just like the SNK line, making it safer from digging into your wrist throughout the day. Let's talk about the dial now. The dial is so bright that it fully charged from the sunlight, it can be used as a dimmed blue flashlight shining a blue light loom. The sword shaped minute and hour hands feature green regular loom, and the second's hand is fully loomed too, shining a nice orange loom light. Quite an interesting rainbow here. And in this way it is easy to read the time during the night because you distinguish the hands. I like how they chose to use an explorer style dial and no date window that could damage the clean look and symmetry of the dial. The 12, 6, 9 and 3 markers are black printed markers that are used to contrast the loom cream dial for easier and faster time reading. Though this dial reminds me of the Zin 565L and I see here a lot of inspiration taken from that design too. Wearing this watch for a week was quite a nice journey, I enjoyed an active week with a watch that felt light and strong at the same time. The case size of 37mm fits perfectly on my 6.5 inch wrist, big enough to read the time at a glance and small enough to not bother me when sliding under my cuffs. I even wore it washing the dishes and I had no problem at all with 50m water resistance. I like the fact that a sweeping seconds hand doesn't cheapen the watch at all but in fact it tricks you into thinking that you are wearing a mechanical fill watch. 
having an only time explorer dial gave me the opportunity to exercise my memory into thinking what day it was throughout the day. During the evening, I had the chance to experience a Lum symphony that usually lasted for more than one hour, which was long enough for my needs. If you like this watch and its features, I suggest you to get one and treat yourself with a nice titanium filled watch. And not only that looks good, but feels good and does its job as it is intended to. To tell the time in any situation and still looking great afterwards. And if you enjoyed this honest review, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. My name is Ed and this was another episode from Risaga.